back to my channel today is gonna be kind of like a two-in-one video it's gonna be like well i guess said three in one it's gonna be a tutorial on how to do bantu knots this is my first time doing them i'm just gonna do them across the top um kind of like a get ready with me you know type of situation and i got some it's gonna be kind of like a chit chat too because i got some questions to answer i asked you all did y'all have any questions and you did leave some on my community page well, the community tab or whatever. So, while I'm doing my hair, I'm going to answer those questions. So, just stay tuned. I'm still moisturized from this morning. I had to run errands, so I moisturized my hair when I was leaving. Before I was um, leaving out. So, I'm just going to give it a nice little shake, shake, shake. Look at the back. Boom. Alright. So, like I said... I'm going to do them um, across the top. This is my first time doing them, so bear with me. Alright, so first thing I'm going to do is, I'm going to do these. I'm going to try, I'm going to spray each one with some water too. I think I'm going to do like three of them. You know what, I'm going to try to make this one bigger. I'm going to use like two more. I'm going to use these two. And we're going to see. Alright. My first question is, what well, the first question is, would you recommend instant moss? I put it like this. If you don't get instant moss, get somebody who's a professional to do them and really know what they're doing. Because the thing with instant moss, the way they do them, the way they have to handle your hair and stuff, you need somebody who really know what they're doing because you don't fool around and pretty much destroy your hair if you get the wrong person to do your instant moss. Um, this is girl follow on instagram she actually has instant locks her instant locks look so good y'all like they really do i love her instant locks um but they ain't for me because i wanted to go through a full journey and process and all the things so that's why i chose the rabbit i did but like i said if you want to get instant locks get somebody to do it right now the girl i saw on instagram i could tell what did hers did it right because her hair still looks healthy you know her hair looks like really 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 healthy and her locks her locks are growing like her process like even though she did the instant lock way she's still going through like a journey like they still going through the process of shrinking and all this stuff so with the instant lock yeah you don't get locks quick but at the same time you still have to go to, through a journey with them so that's something to recognize and pay attention to boom but yeah you saw how i did that right just twist it up roll around and put my rubber band on that's all i did so this one, I'm just gonna do these one, two. I gotta keep flexing my hair. I don't know where they come from. One, two, three, four, five, or whatever. This one gonna be kind of big, but this okay. The next question: Do you think how many locks you have have a difference in the outcome? Yes, yes. Because I'm glad I went with the number I did because it gave me a balance of having enough. I think if I would have went with less locks, my locks would have been so thick, y'all. <laughs> they would have been huge. Like you think. What is it? You think this one is thick? Just imagine if I would have made them bigger. Cause you go back and watch my video on how I started my locks. And my locks, I started them all small, cause that's what I wanted. But like I tell people all the time, thick locks chose me. I didn't choose thick locks. They really chose me. I wasn't thinking about no thick locks. You know what? I think I'm gonna use. I think I'm gonna use this Talia Wahid cause it's more of a gel. But yeah, it does make a difference. And just because I have. 100 some locks that don't mean that somebody else gonna get the same exact number i got that their locks are gonna be the same size as mine because it just it really comes down to your hair type and how your hair grow you know all this stuff because i've seen some people with less locks than me and their locks are still pretty pretty full and thick and stuff so it, yeah it makes a difference but oh it's but it definitely comes down to your hair type and what you got going on with that because yeah different shorts for different folks that's how it is when it comes to lot size and lot numbers and i mean like honestly when I, when I think about it when i started my life i wasn't really too concerned or really i didn't think about the number i was thinking about the size that i wanted so and as you all know that it didn't come out that way because i wanted all my locks to be about I think this size is what I was kind of going for when I started my locks, but 
that didn't work out. <laughs> they did what they wanted to do. And now I'm kind of glad I have thick locks. I love having thick locks. That's why I go so long without doing a retwist because I actually want them to get as thick as they want to get. That's what I say. As thick as they want to get. So, yes, your lock size makes a, I mean, your lock numbers makes a huge difference. Also, your hair texture makes a difference. Yes. So, this is a good question. It is. How often should you retweet? All these questions are good questions. Good conversation starter type questions that I can really elaborate on. But how often should you retweet? Me personally, okay, I started off retweeting every month, and that's because I'm so early in my journey. So my locks were marrying together a lot, and they um they needed to learn their place. Like so, I was retweeting once a month. I can't edit this one. This should be okay with this one, but. I was originally doing once a month and it was working for me. It wasn't thinning out my locks or anything. It was the perfect, it went perfect for me. So I would suggest, a lot of people, I've heard a lot of people say this once a month is, you know, it's decent. And um, if you go retwisting less than that, more than likely your baby, your locks don't thin out. I'm just going to be honest with you. They're going to they gonna eventually get thin. But um, now that my locks are a little bit more mature and they know their place, I go um every two to three months because um i did the first time i did it i retwisted my hair in like september and i didn't do another retwist until like, december and i realized i'm like you know what i really love the results after that retwist and absolutely loved it and decided to just stick with doing my retwist every two to three months don't judge me don't judge me yeah i decided to stick with the every two three months situation because i like the results better and it keeps my locks all thick and have that like i guess that fluffy look i love the fluffy look like i just do it is so cute to me like i love my locks super fluffy because it just fits me more i don't like the real neat look to be honest that's not for me you don't feel my personality i'm gonna have to really work on this one because as you can see, it is popping and doing all the things that I don't want it to do. This one was a little bit more harder. I probably should have left that other little lock that I saw. Probably should have left it out. Oh, that's ugly. I don't like seeing these wig. It looks a little. What I'm gonna do is wrap this around the base. Yeah, wrap that around the base. <laughs> Y'all, they different sizes, but I don't care. They, they, they coming. They coming. Just have to work with them. So I had to grab that other lock and wrap it around so my base can be a little bit more neater and sturdy. And I'm gonna put another rubber band around. Move on to my next question. Next question: sister locks or micro locks? I would say micro locks for me because even though my hair thick, that, that micro locks can work me. Unless I just really feel like sitting there getting them started. And, well, this should be said at this point, but. I like micro locks better because I feel like if they was on my head, that's something I can maintain better for myself. And with sister locks, I think it'll be a little bit more. A little bit more, I don't know what the word intense, but a little bit more as I'm gonna be able to maintain them myself. So yeah, definitely micro locks. Because the maintenance with sister lock, I don't know if I can actually do that or not. I don't know if that's for me. Okay, I'm putting on two more little things. This one needs some work. I think I'm gonna have to put a um body pin thingy on this one because it is don't wanna. I guess because it's so thick. That was my greatest worry about doing these because my hair so thick and certain stuff just don't work with thick locks they just don't being any I'm getting somewhere I'm getting somewhere so then what I was gonna do I can't fit any more on this side I hope this one stay I like the uh, now it's time for me to work on these edges a little bit I don't have those many out or those many to work with I really don't like using this lock brush because it's very coarse and that can thin out your edges because it has happened to me before. So, like I said, I ain't got that much to leave out. <laughs> but, I'm going to use control. Yeah. Mm, put some right there. Alright, y'all. 
this. I was up here talking to everything, thinking I was recording, and I went. But this, this is it, y'all. When I'm done getting ready, I'm going to take some pictures and all this stuff and come back on camera and show y'all the rest. I love the way my locks look. Like, girl. Girl. <laughs> I love them, baby. They be showing out and coming through with the comfort when they want to. I like my line is very subtle, almost blended. Like you can see it, it's like it's there, but it's not. You know, like it. That's how I like mine. I tried to do the black, the brown one, the dark brown, but it wasn't showing up like I wanted to. I had one brown that showed up really good, and I can't, like, I don't remember what brand it was or anything. Alright. Subtle enough. This is skin by Pure Labs, the same thing. The lashes. This is um skim. I think this is the gloss. I actually like it because um when I say skin, it really means like it blends in so well. It's the perfect nude for me. Like I don't even have to add an extra gloss or anything on it. But then again, I'm like, I want to enjoy myself without even thinking for a second that my feelings are hurt. So, we gonna see what I decide. I love my hair, y'all. Everything came together perfectly. Me, I don't go where the money go. The beat don't go where the fairy go. When I say hop, see the bunny go. I give no fuck, cause I run the show, you know hey, Me, I don't go where the money go The beat don't go where the fanny go When I say hot, see the bunny go I give no fuck, cause I run the show hey, We mark with them, we mark with them We mark with them hard when the bass drop Got a big fat boom when the bass drop Yeah, we off to the moon when the bass drop